everybody. I am Austin. I like to share Bible words with you. This Bible words is taken from Psalm 108 verses 4. God love is so great that it's higher than the sky. Hi children, welcome to KKC at Home once again and welcome to the month of May. I hope all of you are doing well in school. Before we start our program today, let's come before the Lord with a word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you Lord for you are a good, good Father. We thank you Lord for your word that speaks life. Lord, we ask and pray that you will help all of us to focus on you and you alone. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Come, let's join Megan Cheche for a time of praise and worship. Let's go. Hello children. Welcome back to KKC Online. Although we are not physically here, but you can still worship God wherever you are. Come let us sing the first song. Oh 
going to learn how God will help us to be faithful to the end. Being faithful is to finish what we start and not stop until it's done. It's hard to stay faithful because what we are doing becomes hard or it takes a lot of work and we get tired and want to stop doing it. God allows obstacles along the way to distract us. However, our God is a good God. He will help us to be faithful to the end. And to those who stay faithful, He will reward with a glorious life in heaven. When we think of someone like Stephen, the first person chosen to serve the church because of his great faith, we may wonder if we can stay faithful to the end like he did. He committed himself to live for Jesus each day. Stephen loved Jesus and did what he wanted him to do. Jesus had proven himself faithful to Stephen in countless ways for many years. After a while, it became as natural as breathing for Stephen to faithfully follow Jesus. Hello, boys and girls. It is Bible story time. Jesus is telling another parable to the people in those days and us also on the sower who sow his seeds. Let us now focus our attention to watch the video, open our ears to hear the story and open our hearts to receive 
God's Word. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the farmer. This is Jesus, heyo, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey everyone! So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, "Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand." Hey, Jesus! Yeah. Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, "The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy, but since they don't have deep roots." They don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems, or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word. And produce a harvest of thirty, sixty, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Children, let us now recap the parable for today's lesson. Jesus taught about four different soils. The seed that fell on the path is like the people who hear God's word. But do not understand it. Satan snatches it before it can begin to grow. The seed on rocky ground did not have enough soil to develop roots. Those people quickly fall away when things get hard. The third soil was already thick with thorns. That person's troubles keep him from being fruitful. The last soil was good. That person hears the word of God and obeys it, producing a good crop. So, children, shall we all be faithful to finish what we start and not stop until it's done? Yes. Sometimes it is hard to stay faithful when what we are doing becomes hard and takes a lot of work. And we tired, and want to stop doing it, but God will help us to be faithful to the end. God will give those who stay faithful a glorious life in heaven. God wants us to be faithful by doing what He has told us to do in the Bible. Until next time, God bless from Auntie Jean. Hi, children. Good afternoon. 
Welcome to KKC Online. I am I'm Auntie Hui Lei. Today's object lesson is about save the best for last. In life, there are a lot of distractions. Distractions like TV, the phone, playing games with your friends, online, internet. All these are life distractions. These life distractions will, we have to learn how to set it aside so that it will not deter us from being faithful to God. Let's see. Today, this Coco here, Coco Ian, if those who remember him, will help us do a challenge. He is going to put a Bible on his head and we count to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4 to 15. And at the end of 15 count, if he can still maintain the book, I will give him a video to read. Wow, that's a great challenge. Okay, children, start counting now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Go, go in. If you quit now, I'm going to give you a box of chocolates. Do you want this? No. Wow, he's so serious. He wants to go until the end. Let's see. 10, 11, 12. Go, go in. I have something better than you for a hot day. Ah, ice cream. Let's take this and stop the quit. No. Stop, stop. No, he doesn't want to quit. He still wants to continue on. 11, 12, 13, 14. Children, are you counting? 15! Wow! Well done, Coco Ian! This is your 50 ringgit and he has won the challenge! Wow, yes. children! Yes, that's very good! In life, if we wait, God will always give us very good things at the end. But we have to stay faithful to him. Like in this challenge, if Ian does not stay faithful or does not do until the end, he will not get these good prizes. You know, in the middle of all these life challenges, when we want to stay faithful to God, there are distractions like the candy or like what I gave Coco Ian, the chocolates, the ice creams. Wow, all these are good. But it is not as good as what God promises if we continue to stay faithful with Him. So children, remember that God will always have the best for us if we stay faithful to Him. Like this the lesson today, we learned that God, God. will help us, help us to be, be faithful, faithful to the end. end. Again, God, God will, will help us to be faithful to the end. Okay, that's all children. Remember and see you next week. Bye! Children, do you know that we go to war every day? I go to war every day. You may ask, Auntie K, Mana, that's so serious, go to war. Not this kind of war. The moment I open my eyes in the morning, I have to decide what to do or say. You might think, yes, some small and easy decisions, but some more serious and may even make people angry. For instance, when you are in school and exam is near, your best friend never studied and asked you to let him copy your answers. You know it is not right, but he will not friend you or he may even ask others to stay away from you. What must you do? As a child of God, we must be faithful to do what is right. It is never easy. But that is the only thing we should do. In our lives, we often have to go through struggles, some big, some small, but God knows what we can handle and what we cannot. When we cannot do it on our own, God will help us. Let us see this demonstration on where our help comes from. Every day, we are faced with many challenging situations. Satan says it's okay to scold our parents, but not always. It's okay to say we have finished our homework, even though we haven't. Satan accuses us of not being a good child, and God do not love us anymore, and we believe him. Satan says we are too small to do anything for God. We struggle to remain faithful many a times. Sometimes we are very tired or confused. 
But God knows that by ourselves, we are too weak to fight against Satan. So children, today we are reminded that we have a helper. When we remember that God loves us very much, Jesus died for our sins and we are no longer bound by sin, and we have the Holy Spirit to help us. We can be faithful to God, not because we can, but because of what God can. We will find that life is not so difficult after all, to do what pleases God and stay faithful to Him. So children, God will help you to be faithful to the end. Hello children, welcome to Memory Verse Time. Today we learn the Bible tells us that God will help me to be faithful to the end. To the end of what? To the end of your life. To the end of all time. No matter how many mistakes you make, no matter how bad things may get, God promises to help you stay faithful. Will you love God for the rest of your life? Will you put Him first, no matter what? If you will, God promises to reward you with a glorious life in heaven. Let us say the memory verse together. But if you are faithful until you die, I will reward you with a glorious life. Revelation 2.10 Well done, children. Well done. Oh, oh, what is all this record? In early Sunday morning, to be awakened, who's in charge here? I want to lodge a complaint. Oh, hello, Mr. Cranky. Sorry to wake you up, but you shouldn't be sleeping during church. We are going over our scripture memory verse found in Revelation 2.10. Ha, huh, I know that verse. I bet I can say it better than these kids. Everyone knows that puppets are smarter than kids. Well, okay. Let's have a little contest and we will see who does the better job. <coughs> let's see, let's see. Revelation 2.10 But if you are faithful until you cry, I will reward you with a glorious wife. Huh? I'm right, I'm right. Kids, is that right? Mm -mm. Kids, I want you to repeat the verse. One, two, three. But if you are faithful until you die, I will reward you with a glorious life. Revelation 2.10 Oh well, I was just testing to see how good you knew it. Let me say it again. But if you are faithful until you uh, uh, eat pie, I will reward you with a glorious life. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, that's not right. Kids, you can say it better than this puppet. One, two, three. But if you are faithful until you die, I will reward you with a glorious life. Revelation 2.10 Well then, children. Bye. Hey children, we have come to the end of our program today. Let me ask you something. Do you want to be faithful to the end? Yes, you do. God will help you. Every morning when you get up, say, I love you, Jesus. What may I do for you today? It might be helping your mom. It might be telling your next-door neighbor that Jesus loves him. Being faithful means to do what you know he would have you do. It also means not doing those things that could pull you away from him. He will help you every step of the way. 
To be faithful, you need to fix your foundation on God's word. Act on His word. Invite Jesus to be your savior. Treasure God's word in your heart. Hear and hold fast to God's word. Fearlessly face persecution and be unwavering in your trust in God. Live for God each day. Let us pray. Dear God, I want to be faithful to you. I want to do what you ask me to do and not stop until it's all finished. I can't be faithful on my own. I need you to help me not to be like the heart where seed is sown among the rocks. Father God, I pray that your word will take root in my life. Teach me to listen to your words and let them grow and keep me faithful. Thank you, God, for your word that guides me and strengthens me. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Hey children, this is your take-home challenge for today. Every day when you wake up in the morning, say, I love you, Jesus. And challenge yourself to do the following. I will be faithful to read the Bible. I will be faithful to give to others. I will be faithful to talk to God. And I will be faithful to worship God. Rise to the challenge, children. We believe you can do it. That's all for today. Bye.